So the full trailer for Jurassic World Chaos Theory has dropped, revealing stuff about the plot, a potential character death, and various new species that will be making their appearances in this show. And yeah, this show is looking dark and very interesting. It's yeah, I, I think we'll have to ha have a look at the different shots of the trailer to really get get our mind around what's happening here, which is a very interesting storyline that I didn't think that a sequel to Camp Cretaceous was going to go down, but nonetheless, I am very excited. So we start off the trailer with Brooklyn, who is a returning character from the last show, Camp Cretaceous, here in a dark forest at night. She is asking for Darius, where where is he? And before we know it, an Allosaurus makes its appearance behind her, and we are led to believe that Brooklyn has perished at the jaws of this Allosaurus. And whoever is controlling it, as Ben later says, that people were the ones that killed Brooklyn. So, we'll have to see. But something else I'd like to say here is that it does seem that Jenna Ortega is not reprising her role as Brooklyn, as she is not officially listed. But Allosaurus here, looking like the Jurassic World Allosaurus that we know and love from Battle at Big Rock and Dominion, making its return. Looking absolutely fantastic too. I, I didn't think the Battle at Big Rock Allo could look so good in animation like this. It, it, yeah, it looked great. <laughs> So we then cut to James Darius talking to Sean Gambrione's... Uh, is it Gambrione? Uh, I, my, my apologies, sir. But he is playing Ben, and they are both talking about Brooklyn's death and who is hunting them and having to warn their friends. So we get a little shot of Dark Jurassic, which is the encrypted website that is seem to be at the forefront of the campers uh, mysterious tracking the skull I cannot identify however it does almost look like a Majungasaurus however it could just be a T-Rex skull the Majungasaurus is set to appear in the show however we didn't get a shot of it in this trailer what we do see is an icon with a Nasutoceratops skull the Pseudoceratops being an animal that we have seen in Battle at Big Rock and Jurassic World Dominion and I believe it is making an appearance in this show. We then get a shot of multiple states of America where incidents are occurring. And yeah, it seems like Dinosaur Madness is absolutely running rampant in the US. So it'll be interesting to see how this globetrotting adventure fall unfolds. So we get a series of shots of some of the returning characters. Sammy, played by Randy Rodriguez. Darren Barnett is playing Kenji, so Brian Potter is not returning as Kenji. And he is rock climbing here, which is something that Kenji, I think, got introduced to in Season 4. And Kaza Muhammad, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I do apologize if I'm not. She is returning as Yasmina with a very troubled look on her face. So she may be experiencing the PTSD that was affecting her in seasons four and five of Camp Cretaceous. We get this quick shot of who seems to be our one of our main antagonists in the show. We do not see his, his full face, but he's likely a very new character, so we wouldn't be able to recognize him necessarily. All we know is that he's got a bit of a deep voice and is on the phone a lot <laughs> but i'm sure we'll learn a lot more about this guy when the show releases we then get this shot in this grassland environment with a car approaching ben sammy darius and bumpy who is in the back there bumpy is a returning character a asymmetrical ankylosaurus with a distinctive blue coloration on, on her armor plating and yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Manticore Island really fits in here, as that is the last place we saw Bumpy, and another dinosaur that we'll get to a bit later. We get the shot of some mercenaries looking into the water. This seems to follow a shot that we will get to later, after the Beckel Spinax tackles Ben, Sammy, and Yasmina's van. We also get a quick shot of Kenji and Darius looking back in 
in a bit of fear, so it seems that this is where the Atrociraptors may approach them. And we do get a shot of a mysterious figure who se seems to be of feminine nature. However, we do not know the keeper of the Atrociraptors. However, Sayona Santos from Jurassic World Dominion is a likely candidate, but we will not know for sure until the show releases. And of course, the Atrociraptors are returning from Jurassic World Dominion, these being Panthera, Tiger, and we do see Ghost a couple of times in the previous trailer, and I think at least once in this trailer. In a in the building, in, I assume, Sammy's house, the Atrociraptors are hunting her, and we get this classic shot of a raptor foot on the ground. It may tap its claw, I couldn't tell in the trailer. But Sammy knocks over a pitchfork, which sets Tiger, I believe this is Tiger, on her. However, this could be a new Atrociraptor. As the pattern, I don't know if it is Tiger, actually. It could be a completely new Atrociraptor. I'll have to wait and see it. We obviously cannot see this guy in the daylight, but yeah, there might be more than just the four Atrociraptors in this world. We then get a shot of a map of different river systems and where Brooklyn was assumedly wandering around and scoping out locations. And we see one posted note that's actually written in English saying, Call Dino Nerd. So this is probably where Brooklyn was hoping to meet Darius and ask for his information on something that she found. So it'll be interesting to see more context explored in this in this uh, scene. So we'll have to wait and see. We then see Ben and Sammy looking out of a large airlock, which seems to lead onto a remote island. At least it seems like it's an island. Or, or it could just be crossing a river. We, we do not know. But this seems to be the same bridge that will later be attacked by the Beckel Spinax later in this trailer. We then get a shot of what seems to be a dinosaur transfer going from crate to crate with a baryonyx. We also see multiple crates in a warehouse and we have no idea how many dinosaurs could be in here. There could be dozens of them. But this is perhaps where we see the Majungasaurus in the show. We, we, have, we of course have no idea, but it, it's nice to speculate. This could be where an interesting scene will take place. We then see Darius and Ben's van parked on the side of the road with dinosaur transports moving by. This one looks to potentially contain Stegosauruses or some kind of Ceratopsian. And then we see the Allosaurus also being transported that Darius pays particular attention to. This Allosaurus is the returning individual from Battle at Big Rock, as you can tell by its scarring and the blind right eye. We then get a montage of different shots. Here we see Kenji with a large stick trying to defend the group. And we also see what looks to be a some kind of car going through a secure gate with similar fences to that that were found on Isla Nublar. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, but this does somewhat resemble one of those Biosyn Jeeps that we see in Jurassic World Evolution and uh, Jurassic World Dominion. But <clears throat> we have no idea if Biosyn Valley will actually or Bison in general will have anything to do with the plot of the, of the series. However, I have seen some rumors that Giganotosaurus may make an appearance, so we'll have to wait and see for that. Now, with some of the new species, we are introduced to Suchomimus, finally making its on-screen debut after being initially teased in Jurassic World, at least on the Jurassic World website, with a beautiful design. However, the, the Chaos Theory artists seem to have gone for a much different design which according to this trading card is more yellow and red than the blue and yellow that we got used to in on the Jurassic World website and in Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2. In here we see it fighting a hippo so whether this scene will be recreated in the show we have no idea however this would be a cool little experience to watch as the Sukumimus also does look a bit different from this trading card having two tusk-like teeth on the bottom of its jaw. So that'll be interesting to see how that in, that works with the design. 
We get another montage of different shots, one introducing the Pachyrhinosaurus being approached by an Allosaurus. Unfortunately in this shot you cannot see the Allosaurus' jaw making its way in, but in the trailer when you watch it you do see the jaws of, of the Allosaurus coming in, as this does seem to take place in the same setting as when we saw Darius in the first trailer, where he was following some footprints. And let me just say, the Pachyrhinosaurus is humongous. Like, it is really big, much bigger than the one that we have in Evolution 2, and I would really love to get this variant, as uh, having a Pachyrhinosaurus to fight large predators would be a really, really good addition, because Pachyrhinosaurus goes down way too easily in the game currently. We also get a shot of Tiger jumping down in front of Kenji, Darius, and a mysterious third character that we are unsure as to what their identity may be. This could be a new character. I've seen some speculate this could be Alan Grant or Ian Malcolm, but I think this could be just a completely new character. We also see Sammy running and Yaz holding her hand out to get her inside the van, so this is assumedly taking place with the Beckel Spine Axe in pursuit. And we get another shot of the Atrociraptors of Ghost and Panthera trying to catch a car which i think has darius and ben inside of it and yeah this is going to be a tense scene getting away from the atrociraptors was certainly a very fast-paced scene in jurassic world dominion so we may get a similar thing going on here in chaos theory we also get a shot of kenji punching panthera in the face so this is very like i don't know where i saw it where um a character punched a dinosaur in the face but yeah th th this is it, i mean it's nice to see the humans actually trying to defend themselves against the dinosaurs here but other than kenji and ben in this scene we do see a mysterious third character that could be the same guy that was on the phone i don't want to jump to any conclusions but this could be the same guy we then get a scene of yasmina inside the van which transitions to the Beckel Spine Axe pulling a, what I assume could be some kind of mercenary that was trying to catch them, out of a van by the leg, um, right in front of just a regular residential home. So, the dinosaurs know no mountain trees in this universe, and the Beckel Spine Axe looks fantastic. Now, Beckel Spine Axe is a junior synonym of Alter Spine Axe, which I don't know why they didn't discover that name, but... The back of spine axe looks great here. I love the burst of red and purple on the head. The spikes going down the back of the neck. The green. The dewlap is killing it here. And we've also got a bit of a spine going on down the back. It also seems to be semi-aquatic coming out of the water here. Much like a mosasaur or some kind of spinosaur. It's nice to see some other dinosaurs being given a semi-aquatic trait. However, if it was introduced into Evolution 2, much like the Pyroraptor and the current Spinosaurus, it probably wouldn't be able to interact with deep water at all. And we get a follow-up to the scene that we saw in the first trailer where the Beckel Spinax headbutts the van, and seems to actually put its head in the van trying to get at Yasmina. We then get a shot of a T-Rex foot plant, and we see the identity of this T-Rex a bit later. We also see one of the Atrociraptors, I assume is Panthera, coming out of some rubble of barrels and boxes. So the campus seemingly tried to ditch the Atrociraptor very quickly, and for good reason too. But um, yeah, this, these scenes are really hard to put together when we don't even know in what order they're supposed to be in. And here we see a van coming through the door of this facility with all our characters on a catwalk with Ghost right next to them. So this is going to be a bit of a tense scene with Ghost right there. <laughs> and we also see a a scene where the Beckel Spine Axe technically follows the van off the bridge and this seems to be what leads into the scene of the two mercenaries looking over the, the edge of this bridge into the water to try and spot the van and the Beckel Spine Axe. And we get our T-Rex shot at the trailer, with Big E.T. returning from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 4 and 5, one of the two T-Rexes that were present on Manticore Island. So it does seem like we're not just going to get Rexy in this se series, we're going to get Big E.T. as well, so 
I'm assuming Manticore Island may have been shut down, and all the dinosaurs have since made their way to the mainland um, somehow. Like they they likely were brought to the mainland to live out with the rest of them, but yeah, I'd be curious to see what happens there with Manticore Island. And our ending shot of the trailer involves Darius being run down by the Allosaurus in this awesome shot that does evoke the classic Jurassic Park scene where he and Malcolm leads the T-Rex away and of course when Claire Deering leads the T-Rex towards the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World. But it's still a cool shot nonetheless. But yes, that is the Chaos Theory trailer. There were a couple of shots I think I missed, but when I look back at them, they didn't have too much that I could really draw from them. But let me know in the comments your excitement for this series, whether you're excited for it, whether you're going to skip on it, were you a fan of Camp Cretaceous? Well, if you were, this is probably a good show for you. And yeah, I'm really excited to see the direction of this show, as it really does seem to be taking a much darker turn with the death of a main character that I, I, I do kind of hope will last because it does, it, it creates more tension and makes the characters feel less safe than they were in Camp Cretaceous. I mean, Ben fell off a train and still survived and Sammy was envenomated by the Scorpius Rex and still survived. So many of the characters really should have died in Camp Cretaceous on several occasions, but <laughs> plot armor. But we'll see how how well that plot armor holds up now that they're adults in a world ruled by dinosaurs. So yeah, Chaos Theory releases on May 24th, so mark your calendars, and if any more news comes up, I'll certainly see if I can make a video on it. But as for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.